restaurant just closed Sunday afternoon and workers were starting to mop up when suddenly water started shooting out of the wall. The owner tells us he's getting through the setback with the help of the community who've been reaching out knowing he's been through this before. Is it in the hall too? Ringing in the new year at over easy. This is serious. Was anything but easy. As the water's kind of getting higher and higher, you don't know when it's going to stop. Owner Nick Bartholomew didn't order up frozen pipes as a special dish for his West Omaha brunch place Sunday afternoon. We absorbed, you know, four to six inches of standing water here on the floor. Bartholomew says they had some warning signs in the morning with trouble getting the water to warm up. He didn't realize the pipes were about to burst. The water went from a light trickle to a downpour from this side of the kitchen forward. A restoration team got to work quickly on the cleanup. Instead of customers, large fans sit in the dining room and crews removed some drywall and ceiling. Anything like this is something that scares us at first. Bartholomew says he doesn't really warm up to the bitter January cold. Six years ago, a fire destroyed his restaurant in the old market building at 11th and Howard, which housed M's Pub and Bartholomew's restaurant, Market House. Yeah, you know, the feeling this time was um, not as surreal. You know, I think that since we had been there before and we had the experience with what had gone on in the past, that we knew who to contact. Whether it's fire or flooding from frozen pipes, Bartholomew says he always wants to provide good food for his customers who've become friends. So we hope it doesn't take long but we sure uh, are looking forward to getting back. Any leftover food won't go to waste. Bartholomew is donating it to the Siena Francis house. He hopes to be back open in a couple of months. Michelle Bandur, KTV Newswatch 7.